Hey guys, hope you're doing well out there. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by uh, Valiant Samples, uh, their sample library developer, uh, who recently released a contact instrument called Corderone uh, Guitar Reveries. They reached out to ask me if I could do a review on this uh, library, and I was honestly uh, really surprised and humbled, uh, considering you know I'm uh, still a relatively small YouTuber. And um, of course, I looked into it further. Uh, they sent me the library. Uh, I tested it out on my end. I have to say, uh, really impressed. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, and I composed a track this morning um, that makes use of many of the amazing sounds and, uh, and textures uh, that this instrument has to offer. So let's just jump right into it here and I'll show you what I came up with. So this is an electric guitar instrument. It sounds absolutely beautiful. <laughs> And it captures the sound and performance of uh, well-known Italian guitarist and composer uh, Claudio Corderon. It looks like this is the first instrument uh, from Valiant Samples. I'm really excited to hear what, uh, what else they come up with in the future. So I'll put the link below to uh, their overview and their trailer for it. Um, that's in the description, so go check that out. So I'll just give you a really brief rundown of uh, what this library has to offer and what it's capable of. So one thing that I love right off the bat about this library is that there's tons of presets and they all sound really interesting and cool. I think there's 150 uh, presets altogether. They're divided into um, into three categories. There's, there's guitars, so this is like the traditional, like more guitar-ish sounding patches. There's pads and then there's keys. And this keys folder is really interesting. Uh, a lot of patches that sound kind of like electric keyboards or like even organ. And then I created this user patch here. Uh, there's a really convenient um, empty slot here, um, which you can pull up and uh, create your own user presets with. And it's actually really handy because uh, it's incredibly easy to just dive in and uh, create some really, really interesting sounds of your own, uh, which I did, of course. And I made use of that feature uh, for in this track as well. So I'll just scroll over to uh, my user patch here, which sounds kind of like this. So when you pull up an empty user patch, uh, like I did, uh, what you have is a choice between, uh, a choice from 25 sound sources. Um, and you can load two separate sound sources into a patch. So patch A and B uh, uh, will work together. And um, as you can see here, you got like a bunch of different uh, sounds to work with. Below each sound source that you choose, you got a pan option, volume option, uh, ADSR parameters, and you can also choose this neat little option here. You can choose where um, the sample starts. Below that, you have these like iris controls, uh, which are really cool. So you can adjust the overall uh, amount of delay or reverb um, for, uh, for both patches. You have a filter adjustment here, a saturation knob. This knob here controls your stereo width. And then we have this tremolo uh, parameter here, uh, which sounds great. Really simple interface, uh, it's easy to look at. And then beyond that, you can also tweak things uh, really extensively uh, in this effects panel. Listening through to uh, some of the demos uh, that are posted on the uh, on the Valiance website, um, all of which are really cool, by the way, uh, I wanted to write a track that, using primarily just this instrument. Um, and I couldn't help but think that like a lot of these patches sound um, like they'd be great in like a lo-fi hip hop context. And uh, so I thought I'd write something in that genre. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of this song. Um, everything that you hear is using the Corderone guitar, uh, except for uh, the bass, which I recorded myself. I have a few percussion loops that I, uh, I brought in from Splice. And I've got this cool little like vocal sample that I took from uh, Output Arcade. So I'll just play a little bit of this track and we can talk about um, my thought process on it afterwards. <laughs>
So as you can see, there's not a whole lot uh, going on in the track. I, I felt like I was able to get a lot of mileage out of the uh, the presets just because they had so much uh, texture and depth. So basically where I started was uh, I loaded up two patches here. I started with this Leslie guitar Leslie patch, which sounds like this. So really simple chords. I doubled that up with a keys patch called Arpedium, which sounds like this. Like I was saying earlier, some of these keys patches kind of have like an organ feel. I really love how that one sounds. So for melody, I used uh, my own user preset, which I was showing you before. Really just plucky and also kind of like ambient tones there. For this one, I used a patch called, I don't know why it says unknown there, but it's called Outer Space. Rename this while I'm thinking about it. And that one sounds like this. Similar to my ambient plucks, but just a little bit less attack. When we get to this uh, chorus section, I also have another melodic layer uh, using uh, one of the keys patches. This one's called Soft Keys A. And I wanted something to kind of fill out that chorus section, a little bit of like texture on top of everything. And I pulled up uh, this really, really interesting sounding patch uh, from the guitar uh, folder. And it's called, it sounds like this. Very synth-like, but it really suited the song uh, so well. I was really stoked on that one. There's a few sections here before we hit the chorus where I used a patch from the, uh, from the pads folder. Um, and this one sounded really, really cool. And that's pretty much it. That's all I needed uh, to make, you know, a really, really like vibey sounding hip hop track. I really, really love this pad patch. I could definitely see myself uh, coming back to this in other tunes as well. Just really nice tones, really cin cinematic. So all in all, this library was just kind of perfect for, uh, you know, some of these like really cinematic lo-fi hip hop tracks that I've been working on lately. Really beautiful sounding library. Uh, absolutely love all the presets that they have. Just coming back to this patch, this guitar Leslie patch, uh, which was the initial inspiration for the song. I really just feel like that the library is worth it just for this tone alone. It just sounds so cool. I could just jam on that forever. So I'm going to mix this track down. I'm going to send it to Valiant Samples. Hopefully they like this little hip hop tune that I came up with uh, using this library. I personally think that uh, for what you're getting here, it's uh, it's very reasonably priced. The library is priced at uh, 79 USD, uh, which I think is yeah pretty fair. I'm always kind of fascinated with uh, you know these all these guitar sample libraries out there. Uh, as a guitar player myself. Um, it's really interesting and, and kind of strange to use them, uh, but I could definitely see myself uh, coming back to this. I'm definitely going to add this to uh, my arsenal of sounds. So big shout out to uh, Valiant Samples for getting in touch with me. Thanks so much uh, for sending me this library. Uh, more than happy to do a, uh, a positive review for you guys, and I'm really, really excited to see uh, what else you guys come up with. So thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think, and... Uh, let me know if you have any questions at all, and I'd be happy to get back to you. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.